Well, the billionaire battle for space flight supremacy is igniting new interest in astronomy and science. Cody's standing by with a rocket scientist to break it all down. That's right. Okay, so we've got not one but two billionaires this month <laughs> are going to be going up in space. Yeah, it's a lot of money going into now, space. Now, me personally, I've thought about launching billionaires <laughs> into space, but I'm glad they're volunteering. So I wanted to find out what a space expert thinks of these billionaires launching themselves into space. So joining us right now, Olivia uh, Olympia Lapointe, uh, joining us to talk a little bit about uh, this the the rich folk in space. What do you think about this? Oh, Cody, I think it is great because it is going to ignite space education and science education across the world. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're into it. I, I think it. Uh, I uh, also. I am pro, uh, pro uh, them being the tester monkeys. You know, testing out the rockets <laughs> going up there. I think that's good that you know they're putting themselves behind it, so you know it's going to work, right? Yes, uh, they are actually putting their efforts behind their investment. Uh, previously, what we've seen before with NASA, with SpaceX, with even the space shuttle program that we had years ago, we had NASA launching astronauts into space. But this is the first time that we will have commercial launch in the sense of the average, well, there's not really average, these are billionaires going into space, but the <laughs> average person going into space and experiencing that that type of phenomenon. Now, this launch is not like something in which we've seen before. And as I go into it, we're going to see a different type of launch with the Virgin Galactic on Sunday. And so I'm excited to to talk more about that. Yeah, yeah, tell us a little bit about it, because the Virgin, it's it looks like a plane, but it's got rockets on the back of it. Tell us a little bit about that, you a rocket scientist, you. <laughs> well, this particular launch is unlike anything that we've seen before. There's a, three stages to this launch, if you will. There is the ascent, but it doesn't shoot up like a rocket like we're used to seeing with SpaceX and, and the space shuttle program. It actually goes up in a custom-made quad jet, dual uh, fuselage, custom mothership plane. This is like <laughs> humongous. And from that plane, the, the plane actually launches up to 40,000 miles up into the sky, and then it drops out spaceship two. This spaceship called Unity is then going to drop out of the plane, and then it's going to be critical, critical that the jet that the jet actually clears the way and the rocket engine lights its engine successfully. Now, this is something that is critical oh. to safe flight. At this point in time, the engines are going to start up and it's going to go straight up into outer space three times the sound, uh, three times the speed of sound, I should say. And it is approximately, it is 23 hundred miles per hour into space. That's so this is exciting and it is going to go to the, it's kind of it's like the boundary level of space and that's around 50 miles up above Earth. And they're going to experience that for around four, maybe four minutes. And then this particular spaceship two is going to come down, go on its belly and glide back down to Earth. Okay, so when you were working with the space shuttle program and everything, they had solid rocket boosters and that's how we got it up there. Do you like this design? Is this something you would have gone, ooh, I would like to play with this, or, or what do you think about that? Well, I, I, I believe there's different approaches for the same goal. Uh, we are used to seeing a solid rocket booster on the side of the space shuttle engines, let's say, bring up the space shuttle to a, a point for it to launch. We've seen with SpaceX uh, coming from the ground, even Blue Origin is going to launch later on this month with that same process, but this particular launch starts off in the sky. This is an innovative approach. We're going to see how successful it's going to be on Sunday, and all of the world really will be watching. I think it's a good thing. Do you think it's a good thing? I think it's a good thing. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate your, your expert opinion on all this stuff. Uh, if people want to learn more about what you're up to, because you are one fascinating person, let me tell you, <laughs> how, how can they get a hold of you? Oh, you can find me on Instagram or go to my website, AnswersUnleashed.com. And on Instagram, you can go to Olympia LaPointe. All right. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Let's send more billionaires into space. <laughs> Let's do it.
<laughs> Warren Buffett. Let's let's launch them all. Let's see what happens. Oh, all right, back to you, Court. Wow. Thanks, Coach.